Well, I, I think the, the key to overcome the possible cheating is to have as high a voter turnout as possible. I think we're trying to get it up to about 85% or something because when there's a big difference between the candidates, the winner and the, the, the winner being, being our side mm -hmm. uh, and the other one, uh, it's very hard for them to, to try and um, overcome that. It's only when there's, there's a small difference that they try and bring in mysterious votes. Um, so I think it's important for everyone who can vote to go out and vote. And I think we should all uh, try and persuade all our friends and neighbors who might be sitting on the fence uh, to do so. And um, because this is really our only chance uh, to do that. The other thing is that there are several people who found that they had never registered but found their names on the list. Um, if that happens, then there's a possibility that someone else is going to vote in your name. So the best thing to do is to get out there as early as possible and vote. Okay. You know, so that nobody else can, can take your name. I just want to say one thing about mitigating the cheating, okay? It is to come out in huge numbers on voting day. That is the best way in which you can fight the cheating. So we had 80 over percent. We had 80 over percent turnout, voter turnout last time. Let's push it to 90.